What is up guys, welcome back to another video. We are on the Cosmic DE. Currently we're using Nabura for this because this is what I was on. So if I do the Neo Fetch thing, Neo Fetch requires me to actually be focused on the window, of course. Yay, look, see? Neo Fetch. Yay. Um, we're just testing out the newest features that are available. And I haven't done a video on this in a long time. But if I go into grid view and I hit control H, yay, that's because of me. Um, I asked that feature to be put in and they did it and I'm very happy about it. So, so far this file manager is extremely bare bones, but at least it actually works and functions and does things. Yeah, there's no USBs on the side. Unfortunately, you'll have to use another file browser to get to your drives. I sure as hell don't know how to get to my drives besides manually mounting, but they won't show up here anyway. So there's that. The, uh... This is the Cosmic Terminal. It is the most basic thing in the universe. There's just a whole bunch of stuff here. Honestly, it looks kind of cool, but yeah, we can turn it to light mode, does nothing. Dark mode does nothing. Uh, dark, ah, there we go. Light, I guess we have to set to light now. Oh, flashbang. Yeah, we're gonna stick with dark mode for now. Dark there as well. Uh, you can change, make it, you know, transparent if you want kind of nice change the font around yeah uh advanced font settings of course and focuses and headers and all sorts of stuff so it has a lot of features but you can't drag and drop stuff no look look at that it doesn't work so you can't drag and drop folders and files and stuff into this it just won't do what it's supposed to um let's go over to the settings it's right down here Start off at desktop, go to display. You'll see now that we have a display window. I had unplugged my third monitor because there's multi monitor issues. Uh, it's fine, they'll get it fixed eventually. Not everything's going to be perfect. I can't go to 165 unless I change it manually in the ROM file. Uh, display and desktop and panel. So show minimize and maximize. Are always going to be there. You can't minimize windows though. I don't know why. Panel and everything here is still the same as it always been. Nothing's changed in dock either. Um, if we head over to uh, wallpaper, you can see the wallpapers are now showing, which is great. And these are the system wallpapers. I added this one. This is from Bing. Yay. And there's currently fill and fit to screen. Uh, same wallpaper as all displays. So you can change them individually if you wanted to. I mean, yeah, there we go. So if I wanted to, I can add a wallpaper here. So let's say I would go to pictures, bank wallpaper. I like that one. And now the monitor on my other side's changed. You gotta take my word for it. Unfortunately, I can't show you uh, unless I added a virtual display, which I don't think I can really do. No, I can't. Yeah, I can't add a virtual display kind of cool because on KDE you can add a virtual display and I would love to add a virtual display here but I don't want to plug a monitor just to get it to record my main screen so oh crap it froze eh there we go we're back all right now back to settings sound is still to do's system users everything like that the about page is full which is nice except for the to do at the bottom we are on Wayland, Cosmic, x86, and using the Nabora Linux 39 Gnome Edition, yada yada yada. Uh, time and language really doesn't have very much here, so it's still pretty bare. Inputs actually has some stuff, so English and all that, it's nice. Uh, but other than that, it's still pretty bare bones. They're adding the backend stuff mostly and adding to their applications list. If we go in here and we type cosmic your other applications so the word document stuff as you can see it does things there's even get management in here like for real that's cool as hell um i wish it and i hope it ends up as feature rich as say something like uh, i don't know what do you call it um i'm thinking of the name i can't remember there's Vim bindings for those Vim people, all three of you. Uh, Notepad++. If it becomes as feature-rich as Notepad++, I'll be very happy. 
Anyway, let's move on to the other application, the Cosmic Store, which has nothing in it and does nothing. Yeah. It is what it is. At least it's coming along. Progress is going very nicely. I mean, we should be in alpha pretty soon. Uh, this does nothing because I'm not on a laptop. I don't know what it needs to be able to go to high performance, but apparently I don't got it. And time, instead of showing sudo apt install, it now shows time. Calendar stuff brings you here. So that's cool. Here's your power button settings, everything like that. Yeah, and that's the end of it. Uh, oh, wait. Let's hop into appearance real quick, I guess. So I didn't show you that. So in appearance, you can change um, the background here. So if we wanted to, we can go with for a more normal look. This is what it looks like by default. And there's a bunch of settings down here, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so I guess that's pretty much the end of it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, I know there's not really many updates, but, you know, more to come. And now that I've got it functioning in a state where I can record, I should be able to do more videos on this. So, like the video, subscribe to stick around for further updates and videos about Cosmic DE, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.